did you come to the title Beyond Function, an Exploration of Sculptural Wooden Boxes? Uh, yeah, there's a good question. Uh, uh, well, a box is a functional item, and these certainly uh, go a step beyond that. They're, you can put things in them so that they are functional, uh, but at the same time, you don't have to put anything in it. It can be just something to look at or something to give as a gift. You know? So it's really, it's more than just a box. It goes beyond just a box. How long have you been producing boxes like this and have the ideas that have informed your work? How, how do they start out and how are they different today? Uh, well, they started out... Uh, uh, that's a hard question, Tom. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> you asked that one again. <laughs> okay. How, how long have you been producing boxes? Uh, Well, I've been making things since I was knee high. Yeah, but boxes in particular, uh, probably uh, 10 or 12 years. And, and what was the impetus to lead you into this type of box production? Uh, well, probably many impetus is impeti. Um, I need to be creative, you know, an, an urge to be creative. How do the ideas come to you? Because within this space, there seems to be a very diverse range of ideas. Right. Yeah, uh, a lot of people ask that, and I'm sure a lot of artists get asked, how'd you, how'd you come up with that idea? And it's actually not clear to me how I come up with them. Uh, but I, I guess that uh, that uh, if you take the the uh, like the sum total of, of all of a person's experiences, you know his family, his upbringing, his his uh, everything he's done, everything he's learned, everything he's seen, everything he's tasted, smelled, touched, and put it all together, and kind of let it ferment a little bit, that every once in a while a little bubble will pop, and that's an idea, and it comes out, and you have to you have to just uh, see it as a, it just a, it's a it's what comes from everything you are it's what uh, produces an idea uh, how much in terms of say random chance or in terms of intentionality um, goes behind your work well some of both yeah it's probably 50 50. Uh, some of it's just random uh, I'll uh, I'll have an idea or I'll see something, I'll see a piece of wood or a, a stone or whatever and I'll, oh geez, I've got to make something that incorporates that. And the other 50% is probably uh, uh, more intentional where I, I sit down and I think, uh, you know, I really want to make such and such a statement or express a feeling and then I design my piece to do that. You know. Yeah, um, I wanted to ask you just briefly, who's your favorite artist? Hmm. Who, who jumps to your mind as a favorite artist? Uh, Do you have a book at home that's somebody that you actually, work Actually, I don't have a favorite artist. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have a favorite artist. And, and actually, you know, I, I, I don't know very many artists. Not, uh, uh, mm -hmm. But I like art. Do you have any I books at home that you look at, that's people's work that... Uh, yeah, so I look at... Uh, uh, Tommy Simpson. Mm -hmm. uh, who else do I look at? I like uh, the uh, Mexican uh, Mexican uh, style of art. It's called Alabrije. Have you heard of it? It's a folk art. Alabrije means bad dreams, and they oh, make uh, they make um, uh, fanciful creatures, very colorful. And you can see I like I like bright colors. So. 
mentioned principal preachers. Right. <laughs> so it's more it's more not a particular artist, but I like when I see a style, you know, I, I'm really taken by it. And you, I like artists that that uh, put feeling into their work. So if I can see feeling there, that's what I like. Tell me what's your uh, what's your favorite title of one off the Well, I gotta here. say this uh, Ak 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 uh, is number one. <laughs> so do you do it? Yeah, it, it's. Uh, have you ever seen uh, Mars Attacks, the cult classic? Okay, we gotta yes. watch it. Yes. <laughs> all the Martians come in and they say, all they say is Ak Ak Ak, you know, and, and that just stuck in my head. So I knew I had to name a box that, and this was the one. In the future, where do you see your boxes going in terms of um, ideas? Uh, I see them uh, uh, being more and more expressive. I see that it's, it's become apparent to me that, that if I have a, an emotion or a feeling, I can express it in a box. You know, the box, the actual box, is a very small part of the piece. You know, it's an excuse to make the piece. You can call it a box, but it's really, the box fades into, it's not as significant as the piece and the expression. So 